Stephen see a movie and just go, who was that aimed at? Who, who was that for? It doesn't seem to fit into any kind of bracket. That's what I felt when I was watching Monster Trucks. I just couldn't figure out who this movie was actually for. The plot of Monster Trucks is about this oil company who are drilling for, surprise, oil and they uncover something deep underground and they release these three strange creatures. Now two they happen to capture and one gets away and happens to meet up with the hero of the piece, Trip, a young man who is at school but then never actually goes there throughout the whole movie, just kind of sort of skirts around the part of that. Um, he meets up with a creature who he names Creech because, you know, he doesn't really go to school so he's not getting any better ideas of what to call it. And he discovers that this thing eats oil and uh, it kind of jams itself under a truck and by touching the axle can make the thing go. So it's kind of like a, 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 a live engine. So it's like a, under a truck and it's a monster and it's a monster. It's clever, isn't it? It really is quite... It's not clever. It's strange is what it is. Is this movie aimed at petrol heads? Is it aimed at people like cars because it doesn't really look after the cars, they're just kind of big and bulky? It's not really a kid movie either because it doesn't really aim itself towards kids. It just every now and again it'll have a joke. It's kind of long and, and dragged out for a kind of kid movie. And as it started, I found myself kind of curious where it was going to go. I wanted to see what the creature looked like and it's just a squid. Back kind of was engaged. I liked where it was going. I liked the fact that the trip was an outcast and he has found this creature to help uh, uh, make a car go, even though he works in a scrapyard, has access to all these engine parts, but still can't make his truck actually work. You have this sideline story of his father abandoning him, and that doesn't really come to anything. He hates his kind of stepdad, and that just resolves itself in a typical way that even without me telling you, you'll know how that resolves itself later on in the movie. There is a guy who works for the oil company who just thinks that what they're doing is just wrong, the nobility in this guy. And he comes over to the kid's side and helps out. There's also a love story as well because Trip is kind of with Meredith throughout the movie and she obviously likes Trip physically, but she didn't know him personality at all, which kind of sends weird messages now I think about it. Yeah, I mean, at one point she actually says, wow, you're not dumb. Um, which makes you think, like, why was she attracted? Was it purely physical? Was that the right way message to send if this was a kid's movie? No. Um, now I think about it, there's more problems with this movie than I actually first had. Um, the creatures look kind of childish. The monster truck stunts aren't that particularly great. Um, the, the whole town seems to be pretty much devoid of everybody except a handful of people who reoccur constantly throughout this village. It, it's out in Blu-ray and video on demand and you know if you're really curious don't be curious it's not really worth your time it's not that interesting it's kind of by the numbers movie making like I said I don't really know who this thing was aimed at not for me anyway I know that for sure I gave Monster Trucks one and a half out of five it's just not that good it's not that interesting it doesn't really seem to go anywhere which I think is one of the biggest problems. I had no major issues with either of the two leads. I had no issue with the sort of monster, even though it, we don't see much of it as I would have liked to. I just feel it's a kind of hollow movie that has nothing really to offer. And the novelty factor of the creature driving the, the truck kind of fades pretty quickly into the movie, which is something that you don't want to happen when it's based around all of that. Have you seen Monster Trucks? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comment box below why I'm wrong, right, or just indifferent to this movie. And I will see you next time on Man vs. Film.